In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your TI-84 calculator in order to calculate things like mean, median, standard deviation, quartiles, and so on, given a set of data. Now, I'm trying to save ourselves some time by making it only five data points here. This is going to be the data we're going to start with, but this will work with any amount of data. You just have to type more numbers into your calculator. Now, what I'm going to be using is a certain website that allows you to upload a ROM file and emulate your own TI calculator on the website. I will give information about that in case anyone wants to do it themselves, but let me go ahead and just pull up the website now. So it's gonna look something like this. this is what your TI calculator looks like. Now, before you can do any calculations, you have to enter the data. And the way we're gonna enter data is we're gonna hit the stat button here. Now, once you've hit the stat button, it's gonna bring up this menu option here, and we're gonna go ahead and edit. So we're gonna hit enter there. And you'll see these things here, it says L1, L2, L3, and so on. These are your lists. These are where you're gonna enter the data. Now, in this case, our data is just a single variable, five values of it, we're gonna enter into list one. So I type 2.49, that's my first data value, hit enter. Then I type 5.01, second data value, enter. 3.26, enter. 6.12, enter. 5.21. So at this point, I've typed in all of my data points, all five of them. Again, in other problems, you may have 10 or 20 data points, or maybe even more. This is how you type them in, just over and over and over again. Once you've finished typing them all in, you want to get out of this because you're, this is for entering the data and you can go ahead and hit second and then the mode button you see underneath that's quit. So that quits out of the menu there and our data is now saved in our calculator in list one. If I want to do calculations with it, I will show you that in a moment before I get the calculations. If you look at the stat button right next to it, there's a blue list, so if I hit second and then that button there, it gives you all the lists you have, and if I hit L1 and hit enter, it lets me type it in here, hit enter again, and it's actually gonna show me that list. So you can see that the, the numbers have been saved in list one. Now here's how you're gonna do your calculations. You're gonna hit your stat button, hit your stat button, you're gonna then hit your right area, to, so right arrow to go to where it says calc for calculations. And you see there's a whole bunch of stuff it will do for you. For this video, we're just doing number one there, which is one variable statistics. Hit enter. You have to tell it which list your data is in. In this case, it is in data, is in list one. If you have frequency, so you remember those problems where we wanted to find the mean or the standard deviation when we have data in classes and then we have the frequency of them. That's where you would do the frequency there, which we'll, we'll give it a separate example for that. And then I go down and hit calculate. And lo and behold, it tells me my X bar, which tells me my sample mean. It tells me the sum of X and sum of X squared, which I don't even need. It tells me both sx and sigma x so it tells me the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation so depending on the problem you have to know which one to use in the in the given answer it tells me my sample size of five if i hit the down arrow it tells me more it tells me the min value the q1 the median the q3 and the max Right there is your five number summary, and that's it. So that gives us all the information we want, the mean, median, the five number summary, the standard deviation, both, very, both types of it, you know, population and sample, and just a very quick couple button push on our calculator once you've entered in all the data. This is all we have to do here. 